All right, guys. Today, I, I'm gonna be playing Grand Stark Renvin, and I'm going to beat the second boss with my hands. No weapons equipped. Try about it. Okay, I'm going in. Going in, right where I left off. There's Carcinos. I'm gonna beat him with my head. Can't stop me. Can't stop me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can already see him having a mental breakdown. <laughs> oh my god, this boss is so dead. <laughs> Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes, yes. Well, screw you. Here it go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. He's down with my hands. He can't stop me. Brandish, but Varric... Varric uh, only used 1%, even less than 1% of his power. Okay, got the key. Okay. Who needs health potions where he could just fall asleep randomly in the middle of the ground? Yes, I just woke up and said, uh, oh, I'm just going to make a brandish video because I can. Uh, I'm going to check out here real fast first. Does this guy say anything different? This guy literally thinks I can't do it. Do you realize who you're talking to? I'm, I, I'm Varric. Or Ares if you're in Japan. Okay? You you can't stop me. I'm literally unstoppable. Um, If I'm correct, I may need to see that little girl. Uh, okay, hold on. Do I, can I break this now? Yes. Oh yes, hardening agent. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there she is. Okay. Oh yes, I, I it's just to feed the boss with my bare hands, you know, because you know Varric's all cool and all and stuff, and uh, he 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 literally uh, can't be defeated, even be being chased by several gods, uh, several greedy kings, a half naked woman that constantly he chases him and accuses him for a. Uh, Killing his father, even though it's an ending souls to my situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, me. Oh, 
All you did was just stand there. Oh, is this something I need? She just ascended to the heaven. Someone play guns. Okay, okay, uh, gold bracelet. Is that an armor piece? Do, do I equip it? What do I do? Nothing happened. Uh, I don't know what that does. I think I may need it later on. I don't know. Imagine if this was earthbound. I'd be able to equip that. <laughs> Oh wait, no, 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 let's switch the back. <laughs> I'm over here backtracking, uh... Is there anything else? No? The heck? Uh, jump, 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 yes, yes. Okay, um, so guys, so, uh, as a lot of that guys know, I'm a scratch user, and I've been thinking, what if I could use my coding skills to make the world's first proper brandish fan game? Yeah, yeah, it's probably best to let that guy be. I mean, that guy's feet turned to stone anyway, and he's being a Karen. Even though, I think Karen only applies to girls, but like... He's literally like, oh, you should have not done that, and you should have just stood here with me and stuff. Boo hoo, can I see him? No! But, uh, no! Why'd I use that? <laughs> I think I can sell some of this stuff, though, so. I don't need an ice thing because it's pretty useless, so. I'm just gonna sell some crap to get money, so let me find a shop and then I'm uh. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna follow along on the map. Come on, come on, come on, go, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. What am I doing? <laughs> Imagine how good Varric would be at hopscotch. It's like... He always jumps precisely. Like, imagine if he were to be playing hopscotch. Imagine how good he'd be, okay? He'd be able to do the crap blindfolded. Okay, uh, Okay. I need to find something for that key. Okay, so... Lightning ring. Don't need that. Don't need the freeze ring. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I tried. Oh, yes. I'm in a hole, which takes like 99% of my HP in a remake for some reason. Well, in every other game, you know. In every other game, uh, it's not as harmful. Well, in the first game, it's not as harmful. In Brandish 2, the holes are really unforgiving. Because, like, when I say it takes your HP, I mean it takes your HP. Okay, so... Remember when I made that video of me, uh... uh trying to play, uh... Brandish, but I'm only strafing? And I, uh... What, at one point had a rant about me not fighting Brandish 3? I still cannot fight Brandish 3. Eventually, um, uh, one of my subscribers, Lil Miel's Game Watch, so how every pronounce it, go subscribe to him, shot, I guess, uh, said he may have found something. So I asked him, what did he find? And he never responded. <laughs> okay, until he responds, uh, I'm gonna be asking y'all guys, can y'all guys find me freaking Brandish Tree so I can supply it? the files, and it has to be the raw editable files where you can actually see it inside of like the original files, so I can send it to Varric, so I can translate it, and we could be done with this Brandish 3 translation dilemma. Like, seriously. Brandish 3 
translation issues out of hand because I can't find any translations of the game. So, if. Look. No, it'd be helpful if someone can tell me where I can find anything related to Brandish 3. Okay? A ROM, something. I am running out of space. I need to start using swords. Oh my god. Honestly, the sledgehammers bounce off everything, so do I even still need them? And yet again, there are some areas where I may need it, so... I'm gonna equip that. Used to harden the ages, this sword should keep me going for a while. Some of the most useless stuff, except the hardening agent. Let me, uh. How about sell those when I find another shop, I guess? Either I could just backtrack to the other one. I mean, I'm still in the same area where it's at, unless I can find yet another shop. Is that the black hole from Smash Bros. Brawl? <laughs> okay, uh, if you wish to pass this gate, present to your proof of the worth. Was this a special stage or something? They both say the same thing. Uh, I got that bracelet that the little girl gave me. Does that work? Okay, I did a thing. Uh, yeah, I'll put that back down. Health potion. Good. Wrap here. In fact, I should start selling the health poisons. Because, like, I'm pretty sure they're worth something, right? The poison and then it's the poison. M poison, M potion, short sword. Oh, yo, this this one's infinite. I think this is the final part of the stage, so I don't think I could be seeing many shops. So I'm about to actually exit the ruins. I'm making progress. So like, should I torture myself even further and play Brandish 2 by only strafing? Pretty far in the game, but like, I suffer a lot, you know? Hold on a sec. Guys, is what I call storage management. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the shop because I'm gonna have to. You know, yeah, so. Oh 
Okay, uh, let's see here. Okay, shop, here we go. No, 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 I pressed the back button. I do this in every game. Okay, no, 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 Sell it. We try bread, useless. Gold meant to be sold. Good. And potion, sell. And poison, sell. H poison, sell. Let's sell extra swords I probably don't need. Because I have too many. And this short sword has infinite. And, th and thanks for watching another episode of Saving Your Storage Varies. No, no, don't, don't sell it. I, I need that. Just in case if things come to the worst. Thanks for what thanks for coming to watch another episode of Saving Storage of Aries, where we learn to manage our storage wisely. And we won't have to suffer the bull crap of knowing that we're running out of storage, because we have a freaking dimensional box. It's nice to hand on the health potions even though they're useless, uh just in case you come across some tough boss that makes you have a mental breakdown, uh, you know, they're a good way to uh, recover your HP in case you don't have time to rest on the floor. So, they're not completely useless. Plus, there is that one area where the floor is poisonous anyway, so... They still have use. Basically, they're for healing when you don't have time to sleep. And you just need to keep going. You know what I mean? Okay. At long last, I'd reached the tower. This is this is Varric talking. This was the center of the ancient kingdom. The ruins spilled out from it on all sides. Its apex stabbed into the earthen ceiling of this giant underground hollow. What lay beyond that stone veil, I couldn't have known. But my only hope of escape was to climb in ever upward. Very clearly has a plan on escaping. <laughs> Finally, the second stage, the tower. You have no idea how long it took me to reach here. Making progress. Making progress. New enemy already, yeah? Oh, that was pathetic. Oh, the stage look. Why does it look beautiful? <laughs> oh, I thought I was supposed to see that. Yo, these effects. They're amazing. But now there's holes I can't see. Wonderful. This is new. Okay. Lever. <laughs> oh, 
Oh look, the guy covered himself in orange. The enemy from earlier, and he still dies pathetically fast. Are those like jellyfish or something? They're probably jellyfish. Honestly, this generally sounds like something you hear in a kingdom. Okay, uh... Oh, crap. So, you guys may be wondering, what happened when I fought the first boss in the game? I died. <laughs> I got past it eventually. It wasn't too hard. Okay, gold and a chest. Okay. Remember, you need to save your gold since, like, everything is like a thousand or, like, ten trillion dollars in Brandish games or something. So, it's wise to save your gold. Because, like, if you don't, you can get screwed over from being poor. Especially if there's something you really need to buy because it's going to help you in a boss fight or something. But then you can't buy it because you don't have enough gold because you spent it all on some useless magic you're probably not going to use. You know what I mean? So, like, I... So, like, uh... As we all know, there's a boss in this game that consists of four headless buff dudes. Which was present in the original as well. Now, knowing Brandish, I just realized what the next boss is. Oh no. Oh, the headless. Okay, okay, it's okay. There's four of them, then there's one of you. Then they didn't get all buff guys, so I guess it's even now, especially since Varric has been slaying all these monsters single-handedly with a half-naked woman chasing him around. I think he can handle four headless buff dudes that come out of nowhere. And it just wander around the terrain. Uh... Once again! It's like, guys, if you need to be at a certain level to break this. Is Falcon trying to tell me I'm under-leveled or something? Because so far I've been destroying everything mercilessly yet. That might be the next area, but there's still some other parts I want to check out. It's like I did see an alternate way, so... What's in here? This area look weird! Okay, uh... You're dead. POV, I level up. I'm pretty sure a lot a lot of everyone don't know what Brandish is. So basically it's just this RPG system uh that's this RPG series that was released on PC ninety eight and uh Super Nintendo and I guess one was released on the Turbo Graphics PC engine and uh and it's about this guy and this half naked woman that chases him around dealing with evil kings and crap like that. And uh the game is very obscure and very unpopular because of the fact that it has a 90 degree rotation mechanic which was ahead of its time but very uncomfortable at the time it was released, you know. Just play this the best version of PC or the PC-98 version and, uh, yeah, it's not very the best, you know. But then, in, the, in America, the game had poor reception, yet, uh, fun fact that caught interest on it caught interest from Toby Fox, <laughs> but yeah, it's this obscure RPG that no one likes because of the way, because of 90 degree rotation. But 
I mean, t it caught Toby Fox's attention. We wouldn't have Undertale or Delta if it wasn't for this game. You know, a lot of people don't realize that. Okay. Uh. And, uh, basically, this is a PSP remake of the first game made by Falcom, which is arguably one of the best games in the series, and yet again, other people have different opinions. Some people think Brandish 2 is the best. Story's the same in the first game. The story of the first game is a long time ago, there was this, uh, kingdom of some trap, and, uh, that was ruled by this greedy king that wanted to expand his land, so he sent his troops to kill a dragon that protected their land, and, uh, the dragon punished them, uh, by literally self-destructing it and giving the king the power he wants, but at the same time turning him into a hard beast that reflected his own personality and uh, sank him in his kingdom underground forever. Many years later, there was a small town that was having talk of uh, of the old ancient kingdom when a wandering when a wandering swordsman wandered into town. The everyone. Everyone recognized this as Ares, the Ares Toronto's, the wanted bounty hunter from the posters. They, 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 uh, they uh, knew that Varric was here for something, and they, and they uh, told Ares that, uh, and they told Ares instead of chasing after him, even though he's wanted and has a high bounty on himself, that uh, about the kingdom, and they wonder, and they were always curious about it and its rumors. Ares goes to check it out when he re when he comes across one of his old rivals, Della Dela. Who has been chasing him around for a long time after he after he supposedly killed killed her fa her father and master Balkan. She attacks him with a supercharged fireball of light of some sort that she accidentally misses and it hits the ground, and then the ground collapses underneath them and they fall underground the ancient kingdom. They're now underground trying to uh, find a way out, but they can't find one, and they come across a bunch of crap along the way. The story takes place from Ares or Varric's perspective. Varric being his Americanized name and his more popular name due to Toby Fox using that name in the Halloween hack. I swear to God, these holes. What's next? Someone writes rewrites the book holes, but then you're it take but then it's a brandish instead. Yes, it's literally a book called Holes. Okay, it's an iconic book. Never read it, but know of its existence. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna... This... Those holes are getting annoying, straight up. Like, I do not like those holes. I can't see them. And I always... Fall in them. Uh, uh, oh my god, it's a lot of invisible walls, honestly. This part of the map's pretty big, honestly. I'm just gonna continue playing this on my own time. I'm gonna stop it right here, so. Thanks for watching, I guess. Keep a lookout for more videos and stuff. I don't just post brandish. I mean, I can't just post brandish, or else I'm not gonna get views. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, see ya guys. And remember, um, subscribe, I guess. I, I don't care. Or not. I, I, I honestly don't care, so. Yeah. Remember, uh, brandish is a good game, okay? I recommend y'all try it out, I guess.